Neil, congratulations on the victory. How did it feel out there? Yeah, it was good. It was um, you know, super tough draw. I think certainly the hardest draw you could kind of have, um, you know, especially we were making the semis of Yushan as well. And, um, uh, uh, Wuhan, sorry. Wuhan. Um, yeah, really, really tough draw and uh, yeah, won a really good first frame. Uh, obviously, we had a, all the matches had to sort of like stop for 15, 20 minutes of the electronic sort of system going down. So we had to use the, the score, the, the, the manual scoreboard, sort of like going back into the amateur days of like, you know, which the little the little uh, metal sort of like dial guns. <laughs> so um, yeah, I, I, I made a really good break to win the frame to go um, to go two one, and then knocked in a great long red. I think cleared up for three one. So uh, yeah, and then um, thankfully he, he missed a tricky red, you know, at three one, and uh, you know, yeah, secured the win four one. So really happy with that because um, first round doesn't get any tougher than that in, in terms of who you, who I was playing. With. Yeah, obviously you've had two great battles with him before, uh, the last one at the, uh, the European Masters. How much of a future does we have in this game? Massive. I said it even after the World Championship, you know, I think when I played him, um, I, I think I was, I think I was 4-1 up. I think I had a century to go 4-1 and he made back-to-back -back centuries to go 4-3. Um, and I, I played superb in, in the World Championship, you know, I had the 2-1-4-6s to finish off the match. And I said, I said then, I said, I'll tell you what, he has got some future because, you know, not many people can sort of stand up to that, you know, being fallen down at the Crucible on your debut and then you turn around and go back to back centuries. And, um, and he sort of like proved me right because he's gone on and, you know, he's had a really good tournament last week and, um, yeah, I think within the next two or three years, I think we could certainly see him challenging for titles for sure. Got a, he's got a great demeanour about him um, around the table as well. He doesn't give too much away, um, which a lot of the, the, the Chinese players do anyway. Um, so yeah, no, but he and looks to have a really good work ethic as well. Yeah, um, on to sort of more broad matters. Obviously, you all saw your post on Twitter um, about about missing home. Um, what sort of impact will that have on you in the next couple of tournaments? Because you're missing several uh, going back home for Christmas. Yeah, so, a couple. Yeah, yeah. yeah a so couple in the back end. I mean, one of them is a shootout, which I don't play in anyway. Um, another one is the. It's unfortunate, but I missed the Scottish. I mean, that's a great tournament. I've won it before, but you know, and and. It's the kind of thing that's always kind of kept me in the UK because I plan to go to Australia like over the last sort of like well obviously before COVID or, or post COVID, you know it'd be nice to go home for an Australian Christmas. Um, but because we've always got like the German Masters qualifiers and we've got a couple of other tournaments so close, it's like it's never really allowed me to or or I've put my, too much importance on, you know, I've maybe just like sort of not just pulled the trigger and just gone right I'll just miss those events. Yeah. Because uh, I you know I do like to play in. Once the season starts, I like to play in kind of everything. Um, so yeah, but this season I've just bitten the bullet and I've just thought, right, I'll just go. If I miss some tournaments, I miss some tournaments. I think it's more important for me to get back home because I haven't been back home since um, uh, since COVID. So it's been like four years, I think. So yeah, just missing home a bit and that, you know, like like I said, like you know, everyone's sort of like in the blink of an eye, like twenty years older now, and you know, everyone's a lot older and stuff. And yeah, you just things that you just miss, you know, um, you know, close friends and things and, you know, even people who, you know, a couple of people may have passed away and be able to go to funerals and stuff. Just like things that will happen to you in life that, um, that you know, you just kind of like miss out on, I suppose, like my nephews and things like that, you know, they don't really kind of know me as me, you know, because they just know me through kind of FaceTime or videos and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, it'd be good to go home. We're going back for a few weeks, which will it'll be a lot different to the Norwegian winter where obviously that's like you're buried in snow and <laughs> building snowmen so Alexander will be on a surfboard on the beach and you know trying to ride some waves or something I suppose so um, yeah but it's going to be great fun it's going to be really good and so you know I'm going to get back um, you know for the Masters yeah sort of really refreshed I think it'll be good. Yeah um, how important would it be on the snooker table as well to be able to recharge and sort of take a little break and recharge those batteries mm. away from it? Yeah I think it'll be good you know it's um as an overseas player, you always sort of, you know, I'm sure that Ding's experienced it a lot before, you know, do I go home for a couple of weeks? And, you know, it's obviously a lot easier for him because, um, you know, it's just like a one flight, you know, to, you know, nine, ten hours or whatever it is. So, uh, still a long way, but, you know, you have more options there. And obviously we play events there as well, so, you know, there's time to do that too. So, um, Australia being, you, you know, you couldn't be any further away apart from New Zealand. So, um, it makes that much, much more difficult, especially... You know, having a family as well, so um, yeah, it's something I probably need to keep an eye on and, and structure a bit better um, because I did say that you know after I had that amazing season I should have just gone back for a few weeks, 
Um, but yeah, I didn't. You know, I was kind of hoping to go back in Christmas then, but it never happened. And so, yeah, so this is certainly the right time. And um, yeah, I feel really good. Game's really good. Um, practice is going great. Never been working harder. Everything's really, really good. Um, so yeah, hopefully, you know, build some momentum and, and get some good results. And obviously, you've got your famous record winning trophies in every calendar year. Um, it's under threat this year, but could Northern Ireland, the Northern Ireland Open, be uh, an avenue to keep that record going? Yeah, it would be. I mean, I love my records. I love keeping them going when I can or achieving them. Um, obviously, I'd be the first player to win all four Home Nations events as well. So the motivation is ultra high, um, you know, as it always is. And uh, yeah, to keep that record going, which I'm very proud of. Um, you know, yeah, I've only got a few tournaments left, it seems, but you know, I, I think I've I think I've done it once where I won the last event of the calendar year to keep it going before. So, um, so yeah, I hope to hopefully uh, do that again. Neil, well done, and uh, good luck for the rest of the week. All right, cheers, thanks.